Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I gotta explain while loops in C. It's a really important topic. A while loop will continue some code while the condition of the loop remains true. Basically, do some code while some condition is true. Here's how to create a while loop. We'll type while, add a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. Within the parentheses of the while loop, you're going to place a condition. You're going to perform whatever code is within the set of parentheses while this condition remains true. What you want to avoid is an infinite loop. Here's one example. Let's say that while one is equal to one, we'll continue this code. Since we can't change this, we're going to be stuck in this loop forever. Let's print the following. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. I'll show you what happens. I'm going to print help. I'm stuck in a loop. Now, don't try this at home. Forever will print, help, I'm stuck in a loop. Using a while loop, you can perform some code forever, as long as this condition is true. You're going to need some way to escape a while loop, because you need to continue on with the rest of the program, and then eventually exit. Here's a more practical example. We're going to have a user enter in a number. We'll create a variable, int, number. I'll set that to zero right away. We're going to check with the while loop while our number is less than or equal to zero. We're going to have a user enter in a number, but the number has to be one or greater. We'll create a prompt of the following. Using a printf statement, we'll print enter a number greater than zero. Then we'll need some user input. Scanf, we're accepting an integer. We need a format specifier of percent %d. And then at the address of our variable number, we'll insert a value. Now to enter a while loop, the condition needs to be true to begin with. Enter a number greater than zero. I'm going to type in zero. Enter a number greater than zero. I don't think I will. Negative one. Nope. Negative two. Nope. Negative three. Nope. This will continue on forever until we can escape the while loop. This condition has to be false in order for us to escape. I'll type in one this time and we escape the while loop. We have exited the program. While loops are great when accepting user input because if a user types in something that's not valid, you can reprompt them again to enter in something that is valid. The condition must be true to begin with in order for you to enter it. If I were to set number to be one from the get-go, well, we never actually enter the loop because this condition was false. So we skip over it. Now there's also a variation of a while loop called a do while loop. With a normal while loop, we check the condition first and only enter the loop if that condition is true. In the beginning, if we say do, We'll do this code once and then check the condition at the end using while and then our condition. Then add a semicolon to the end. Now what we're doing is saying do this code once and then check the condition at the end rather than the beginning. And this will work too. Enter a number greater than zero. I'll type in one. That appears to work. What if I set my number to be something that's greater than zero? Like one. Well, we still perform this do while loop because we check the condition at the end. Enter a number greater than zero. Negative nine. Nope. Negative one. Nope. 10. And that works. A do while loop is another variation of a while loop, but you check the condition at the end rather than the beginning. All right, here's another example. A user is going to enter in their name. We'll create a character array of name. I'll set this to be a max size of 50 characters, and I'll initialize it to be an empty string. We'll need a prompt. We're going to print the following. Enter your name. We'll need to use fgets so we can get a line of text. The first argument is our name. We need the size rather than typing 50. I'm going to use the size of function pass in our variable name. 
and then std in, meaning standard input. Then just to remove the new line character from the input buffer, I'm going to write the following. Take our name, use a set of straight brackets, call the string length function to get the length of our name, minus one, set that equal to a null terminator character. That'll remove the new line character when we hit enter, when entering our name. Oh, and then we need to include the following header file. Include string.h. That's if we're working with the string length function. Okay, so once somebody enters in their name, we're going to write a while loop. While, parentheses, curly braces. For the condition, what we're going to check is if the length of our name is equal to zero. That means somebody didn't enter in their name. To get the length of a string, you can use the string length function. Pass in your string, in this case name. If the length of our name is zero characters, is equal to zero, that means the user didn't enter their name. If that's the case, we're going to print the following. Name cannot be empty. Please enter your name. And then we'll use fgets again as well as remove the new line character from the input buffer. Then when we escape the while loop, let's print the following. We'll say, hello, add a format specifier for a string, our name. And this should work. Let's try it. Enter your name. I'm just going to hit enter and not type in anything. Name cannot be empty. Please enter your name. No, please enter your name. No, 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 no. Okay, I give up. We're stuck in a loop. In order for me to escape this loop, the length of my name cannot be zero. I'll type in my first name. And there you go. Hello, your name, whoever you are. And we have escaped the while loop. Here's one last example using booleans. This time we'll use booleans. Be sure to include the following header file. We're going to pretend that we're playing a game. We'll create a boolean variable of is running is running, and I'll set that to be true right away. A user is also going to type in a response. This will be a character, a char. Char response. I'll set this to be a null terminator. If our response, if this character is Y, will continue the loop. If they'd like to quit the game, they type N to quit. With our while loop, we're going to write the following. The condition's going to be is running. Now, since this is a Boolean, you don't need to say is equal to true, you can just say is running because this already is true or false. While our pretend game is running, that's true, we'll print the following. I'll use printf. You are playing a game. And then we will create a second printf statement. Would you like to continue? Why? equals yes, n equals no. Then we need scanf. We're accepting a character. Format specifier. We need to clear the new line character from the input buffer. So we're going to type space, format specifier, c. That way scanf will ignore any white spaces. Then at the address of our response variable, we'll insert a character. Let's do a test run. It's not complete quite yet. You are playing a game. Maybe it's Oregon Trail or something. I don't know. Would you like to continue? Then you'll type in a letter like, yes, I would like to continue. So why, why? Really, you can type in anything, but we have no way of escaping the loop. In order for us to escape this loop, is running needs to be false. We'll write an if statement within the while loop. We'll write the following. If our response does not equal, for not equal, you can use an exclamation point, then an equal sign. If our response does not equal a character of capital Y, maybe they type in N, we'll set is running equal to be false. And then we can escape the while loop. Once we do escape, let's print the following. Printf. You exit the game. Make sure you write this outside of the while loop, not within it. Okay, let's do another test run. 
you are playing a game would you like to continue i'm going to type in capital y you are playing a game would you like to continue yes i would you are playing a game would you like to continue i'm going to type in n for no you exit the game if somebody were to type in a lowercase y well technically our response would not equal a character of capital y there are string functions where you can make a character uppercase but another option is to use the and logical operator and our response does not equal a character of lowercase y to continue playing the game we can type in an uppercase y or a lowercase y you are playing a game would you like to continue i'll type in an uppercase y therefore we continue a lowercase y also works but if i type in any character besides y then we exit the game you exit the game this can also be done with the do while loop too you can write do move the while and the condition to the end and this would do the same thing all right everybody those are while loops you continue some code while the condition remains true the condition must be true for us to enter the while loop a loop will continue forever as long as its condition remains true and well everybody those are while loops in c